I am Dr. Saumya Arvi, Assistant Professor and HOD, Department of Philosophy, Srinarayana College, Kollam. Today we are going to discuss about what is proposition in logic. As human beings, we have many judgments and it can be expressed in language. Proposition is the linguistic expression of a judgment. And what is so special about proposition is, every sentences are not propositions. For example, interrogative, exclamatory and imperative sentences cannot be considered propositions. Otherwise, informative, indicative and factual sentences alone can be considered proposition in logic. Proposition in logic is known as a statement and a statement has three terms, subject term, predicate term and a connective which is known as scopula. In deductive logic, we have two kinds of propositions, categorical propositions and conditional propositions. Categorical proposition means a proposition establishes its relationship between the subject term and predicate term without any condition. For example, all men are mortal. But a conditional proposition establishes its relationship between the subject and predicate along with a condition. For example, it can be uh, divided into two, uh, disjunctive proposition and hypothetical proposition. In a disjunctive proposition, the relationship between the subject term and predicate term is established with the connective either or. For example, either the student is a hostler or a day scholar. But a hypothetical proposition means we establish the relationship between the subject term and predicate term with the connective if then. For example, if the student uh, works hard, he or she will be passing the examination. Now we are moving to classification of categorical propositions. Based on quantity, categorical propositions can be divided into two, universal proposition and particular proposition. And based on quality, the categorical proposition is divided into two, affirmative proposition and negative proposition. Combining both the quantity and quality, we have four kinds of categorical propositions. Universal affirmative or A proposition, universal negative or E proposition, particular affirmative or I proposition, particular negative or O proposition. Now what is distribution of terms in categorical propositions? A term is said to be distributed when it is used in its entire extent referring to all the objects denoted by the term. A term is undistributed when it refers only to a part of the class of things denoted by the term. Now we are moving to the distribution of categorical propositions namely A, E, I, O. The distribution of A proposition, proposition A distributes its subject only. For example, all men are mortal. In an Here A proposition, both the subject term and predicate terms are distributed because it completely excludes each other and both the subject term and the predicate term is used in its complete sense. Now the distribution of I proposition. In an I proposition, neither the subject term nor the predicate terms are distributed. For example, some words are white. The subject term is not distributed because it commences with the term some and the predicate term is also undistributed because it is not used in its complete sense. Now the distribution of O proposition. In an O proposition the subject is not distributed because it starts with the word some and the subject term is not used in its complete sense. But the predicate term is distributed because it is used in its complete sense. For example, some words are not white. So the distribution of categorical propositions can be shown like this. A distributes subject only, E distributes subject and predicate, I distributes neither subject nor predicate and the O distributes predicate only. Now what is Euler circle? 
the distribution of categorical propositions are diagrammatically represented by the famous German mathematician Euler. So a proposition is represented by placing the subject circle inside the predicate circle and the small circle falls within and coincides with a part of the bigger circle representing the predicate. And E is represented by two circles falling outside each other because in E the class of objects denoted by S has no connection whatsoever with the class of objects denoted by P or predicate. In I, a part of subjects denoted by class of S agrees only with a part of the class of objects denoted by class P. Hence, the two circles intersect each other and the shaded segment stands for I. In O, a part of the subject is completely excluded from the whole class of objects denoted by P. Hence, a portion of the circle falls outside the whole circle of the predicate or refers to the shaded portion. So this is the diagrammatical representation of distribution in Euler's circle. This one is the distribution of uh, A proposition. This one is E proposition, I and O. All A is B, no A is B, some A is B and some A is not B. So this is all about proposition, its distribution and Euler circle. Thank you.